question 9 of 2018 Leaving Cert Ordinary Level paper. So a lot of people were asking for question 9 on this uh, earthquake one. So when earthquakes occur under the sea, they cause large tidal waves called tsunamis. Scientists can estimate the arrival times of tsunamis to nearby countries. The average speed in which a tsunami travels is S, so uh, G by D. So is uh, average speed. So S is going to be our speed and it's in meters per second. So I'm just going to write down the units. And then D is the depth of the ocean. Uh, depth of the ocean and that's in meters and then g is going to be uh, gravity so it just it tells us what it is but it's gravity uh, and gravity is 9.8 uh, so find s the speed of the tsunami when uh, the earthquake occurs at a depth of 2000 meters so the gravity g they tell us is 9.8 so they're saying it's 9.8 everywhere and then the depth is a uh, 2000 meters and the depth has to be in meters so the speed is going to be at uh, the square root of 9.8 by 2000 so the square root of 9.8 by 20 uh, so then we get the speed is going to be 140 meters per second so that's the first part and then part two a tsunami has been identified as being 400 kilometers from land so how long will the tsunami take to, so uh, the distance, so uh, so tsunami that the ocean is, how long will it take tsunami to reach uh, land? After the ocean at that point is, so the speed of the tsunami is uh, 140 uh, meters per second, which we just got. And then has been identified as being 400 kilometers from land. So I'm going to have to assume that it's going to be um, because the depth might be different at, at different points. So I'll just average speed, which is from Ami travels, is given by. Uh, her so the D is the depth of the ocean where the earthquake occurred. So I can I can say that this is going to be the speed throughout. So it's um, distance is uh so if I, I have, it's 400 kilometers, but the speed is in um, meters per second. So if I have one kilometer is a thousand meters. So if I have um, 40 kilometers, it's going to be uh, 400,000 meters. So because my speed is in meters, so it's going to be uh, 40, uh, 400,000 uh, uh, meters so um, this is the distance that it has to travel so how long will it take so I have it in meters per second so I'm going to get my distance my time in seconds first but then they want it in uh, minutes so I'm going to have to change it so the distance is 4,000 and we are going at 140 meters per second so 400,000 400,000 over 140 meters per second so i get um 2857.142 and that's in seconds but i know that 60 seconds is equal to one minute so one second is going to be one over 60 of a minute so i'm just going to get a different page so um Two five uh, two eight five seven seconds is going to be two eight five seven over sixty. So two eight five seven point one four two over sixty. So divide that by sixty. So two eight five seven point one four two and then over sixty, and I get forty seven point six one nine. So it said correct to the nearest minute. So it's going to be 48 uh, minutes for it to reach land. And then the next part is rearrange the formula to give G in turn. So I have my formula is this S is equal to the square root of G by D. And then we want to give G, D in terms of. So I want to have a formula where it's D is equal to. So that's called arranging the uh, changing the subject of the formula. So the first thing, I can't move D 
when I have a square root. So to get rid of my square root, I'm going to have to square both sides. When I square a square root, it cancels. So it's going to be this, I have it's going to be s squared because I have to square that but when I square this square root the square root just goes and then, then it's just g by d so s squared so g by d I can just write g d so I want to get d by itself so I'm going to have to divide both sides by what's attached to the d so I'm dividing both sides by g so then uh, d is equal to s squared over g so that's rearranging it and hence or otherwise find the depth of the ocean at the place where the earthquake occurred. So uh, if a tsunami, so this is um, if this is a different um, earthquake. So um, we have a speed of uh, 55 meters per second and we know that G they tell us is a constant rate. So it's going to be 9.8. So uh, the depth is going to be uh, 55 uh, squared, which is the speed squared over 9.8. So it's going to be uh, 55 squared over 9.8. So I get a depth of 308.673, but it asks correct to the nearest meter. So my depth is going to be a uh, 309 meters and that is our answer thanks